In a situation like this, I remember at Virginia Tech when I went out there, parents, loved ones of slain young people wanted to remember their sons and their daughters, and as a result, they spoke and made a statement. Uh, so we'll see if uh, Robbie Parker, I assume he's going to come out to the microphones now and make a statement. Uh, looks like the family is there and they're getting ready to make uh, to come to the microphone. So we'll listen. Up. OK. So my name is Robbie Parker. My family is one of the families that lost a child yesterday in the Sandy Hook Elementary School shootings here in Connecticut. I've been contacted by so many people and agencies wanting to know how we're doing and I just thought that this might be the best way to, to share those feelings with everybody. First of all, I'd really like to offer our deepest condolences to all the families who were directly affected by this shooting. It's a horrific tragedy and we want everybody to know that our hearts and our prayers go out to them. This includes the family of the shooter. I can't imagine how hard this experience must be for you. And I want you to know that our family and our love and our support goes out to you as well. At this time, our thanks go out to so many people, so many friends and family and, and complete strangers who we don't know for all the love, condolences and support that you've given to us. My daughter, Emily, would be one of the first ones to be standing and giving her love and support to all those victims because that's the type of person that she is. Not because of any parenting that my wife and I could have done, but because those are the gifts that were given to her by her Heavenly Father. As the deep pain begins to settle into our hearts, we find comfort reflecting on the incredible person that Emily was and how many lives that she was able to touch in her short time here on earth. Emily was bright, creative, and very loving. Emily was always willing to try new things other than food. She loved to use her talents to touch the lives of everyone that she came into contact with. She was an exceptional artist and she always carried around her markers and pencils so that she never missed an opportunity to draw a picture or make a card for those around her. I can't count the number of times Emily noticed someone feeling sad or frustrated and would rush to find a piece of paper to draw them a picture or to write them an encouraging note. Emily's card making was expressed beautifully this last October when she placed a very special card that she had made into the casket with her grandpa, who also just recently died of a tragic accident. Emily was a mentor to her two little sisters and delighting in teaching them how to read, dance, and find the simple joys in life. Emily's laughter was infectious, and all those who had the pleasure to meet her would agree that this world is a better place because she has been in it. As we move on from what happened here, what happened to so many people, let it not turn into something that defines us, but something that inspires us to be better, to be more compassionate and more humble people. Let us please keep the sentiments of love that we feel for our families and the compassion that we feel for others, even complete strangers, and keep them with us at all times, not just in times of sorrow and tragedy. And may we do this so that we can better all of our communities in all of our cities and all our states so that we can make everyone everywhere in this country feel safe. Thank you. I'd be happy to answer any questions as long as I see them to be within reason. Um, I was leaving to work and um, she woke up before I left 
and um, I've actually been teaching her Portuguese, and so our last um, conversation was in Portuguese, and um, she's told, she's, she told me good morning, and um, asked how I was doing, and I said that I was doing well. She said that she loved me, and I gave her a kiss, and I was out the door. Um, the best way that I that I've been seeing that is um, I have two really good friends at home who've uh, set up a, a Facebook page um, to to help raise money for Emily. And um, uh, when I've gotten on that and just seen the number of people who um, have commented and expressed their condolences, it's been quite overwhelming. Uh, there's lots of pictures on the Emily Parker. Uh, fund page on Facebook. Um, she was beautiful. She was uh, blonde, always smiling, with bright blue eyes. Um, here at the church last night, uh, there was a special meeting. And um, I was given the opportunity to be able to speak at that as well. And in that, I just mentioned that, um, you know, the, the person that, that uh, chose to act in this way was acting with a God-given right that he, was, that he was given by God to, with his own free agency. And that free agency is given to all of us to act and choose to do whatever we want, and God can't take that away from us. And I know that that's something that he was given, and that's uh, what he chose to do with it. And I know that God can't take that away. I'm not mad. Because I have my agency to make sure that I use this event to do what I can, to do whatever I can. Uh, to, one, make sure that my family and my wife and my daughters are taken care of, and that if there's anything that I can do to help anybody at any time, anywhere, that I'd be willing to do that. As uncheesy as I can say that, she was their best friend. They were all born within three years of each other, so by law they're very close. Um, she was teaching my middle daughter to read. She would help my youngest daughter learn how to make things, uh, show her how to do crafts. They looked up to her. And they looked to her when, when they needed comfort. Usually that's, that's saved for a mom and a dad. But it was really sweet to see the times when one of them would fall or one of them would get their feelings hurt, how they would run to Emily to get support and hugs and kisses. You know, it's hard for me to talk about because I, uh, I was at work at the hospital and uh, the hospital was in lockdown, so I, I couldn't get to the, to the school right away. Um, I love the people at the school.